I'll give you $20 to jump in the pool. Okay. $20. Hey, you mic'd up. You better take the mic off. I said 20. 20 I to jump. No. 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 Welcome to the family ball. Be hustling. <laughs> where the basketball universe now seems to revolve around these three brothers. First, there's Lonzo, the oldest and freshman maestro of the UCLA Bruins. Long, long three is good. Then LiAngelo, the big man Chino Hill senior. And one. And LaMelo, the sophomore prodigy who recently made national headlines by dropping 92 points. Yeah, LaMelo. You all are competitive with each other, but does it matter to you all who you feel at certain stage is the best? He could say when I was 12, I was better than you, but I like to live in the present. Truth is, I'm the best. He's second. And he's last. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm the best. He's yeah, he gonna I say it, but it's not the truth. Better. But he's gonna I say, can't it. say they're better. It's his pride. Just, it's his pride yeah. kicking in. They just gonna talk. <laughs> they just gonna talk. Lonzo Ball, <laughs> Mr. Seven Years Old. Get some hype. Oh, reverse. I had a little plastic hoop teaching Lonzo how to shoot on top of his head. It was a straightaway shot from the side. He's my first son, so I spent a lot of time with him. And then once you make the first one good, the other ones just follow. Two hand cut behind the head. This? Yes, hard. There you go. Let me see some handling, man. Their father, LeVar, he had a plane. Get it, he can't throw it up in his face now. Oh, Mellow, what you got, dunks? He would use basketball to strategically plot a course toward fame and stardom for his sons. Good shot, Zoe. When we met, he told me that we were going to get married and have boys, because he only makes boys, of course. Everything is a plan for me picking my woman. Tina's an athletic woman. I'm an athletic man. It's all lined up. Our last name is Ball. College man. <laughs> I said, once I have my boys, I'm having close together. We only need three. One on each lane and one down the middle. Ah, what up, boys? Every day after practice, the fellas come home to their head trainer, their father. I got a nice little system here. As soon as the boys come home from school and practice, we make about 200 shots on the shooting machines. My boys make just like it's nothing. Shoot them with your left. See that? They not ready for that. And the next thing I do is I make them lift weights Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're doing pull-ups. So, good. We just started having fun. You know, we didn't want to go outside and do homework. We want to stay outside and keep shooting. A lot of people be like, oh, you push them to the limit. No, I guide them to the limit. I tell them what to do and get it done. But if I got to push you, this ain't for you. But there's a fine line between exploitation and empowerment. All day. All day. I'm going to tell you right now before you see it, UCLA going to win the NCAA championship and you think I'm playing. Lonzo should be number one because he's the only player in the draft that can make everybody else around him better. He's better than Steph Curry to me. Do you feel that with some of the comments you have made, do you think that the competition is going to get stiffer for your kids because, like, oh, well, oh your, you your, your daddy said you better than me? Everybody talking about, oh, he's going to have an X on his back and they going to come harder. How do you think he's going to get better if they don't come harder? I want you mad as hell at my son when you see him, you like, I'm going to tear his ass up. Because you know what he's thinking? This is what I'm here for. You're not going to give me nothing, but I'm going to make you a believer. And you wonder if the plan is working. Ball steps back, long three, of course! Well, Zoe is predicted to be one of the top players in this year's NBA draft. And with Jello and Mello already committing to UCLA, it returns Westwood back to the center of the college basketball conversation. <laughs> and with UCLA an hour and a half from Chino Hills, they're never far away from their greatest competition. Come on now, don't leave my man's that open. LeBron is going to sit on that. Hell no. Nah. Gang talk! Gang talk! Get him out my house! Get him out my crib, bro! Why are you playing custom? Now you'll never be able to lie to this You said we was playing Hall of Fame. Now, why you mad? Why are you playing custom? Get him in your mouth! Oh, oh listen! Yeah, take this outside yeah. next time and do it on the real court. That's let's go! That 2K let's stuff. go, let's go outside. Predictable! Oh! Yeah. I'm shopping this man! Give me that <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey! I'm done! I'm done! I'm in a fall! Did you fall for real? Oh man! Oh damn! I slipped. Joe, you done been away for a long yeah, time, son. You've been getting soft in Westwood. We keeping it hard in these hills. Hey! Look, 
We keep it hard in these hills. With Lonzo won and dunning, these backyard battles now become more meaningful. We all know that, you know, this is my last year and I'm going to leave. All my boys going to be one and done, yes. We're trying to get to the NBA as quick as possible. They want that challenge. I've told my boys this. Somebody got to be better than Michael Jordan. Why not you? And just not Jordan the player, Jordan the brand. The big baller brand, the triple Bs. This is our family brand for our family. This is what me and my wife came up on with me and my boys together. What do you say to those who say that you're exploiting your kids by doing this? This is what they say. LeVar is exploiting his kids. What the hell do you think UCLA is doing? I'm protecting you from the exposure. Come on. It's exploitation when the family's doing it. But what are you guys doing? You know that we're just playing for fun, you know. It's actually we want this to be our job. It's just something different. Nobody has ever had being a first round pick with their own brand coming out. That's gonna be Lonzo. That's some history changing stuff right there. Lonzo ball. My goodness. Unavoidable, undeniable, unapologetic. The ball family is here, serving notice that it's about to be their world, showing us that ball or fall are their only options. My boys understand that, hey, this is serious business but we're gonna do everything from the inside of the game to the outside of the game. That's gonna be completely different. And you guys gonna have to tune in and see that. That big baller brand, a brand is one of the biggest things you can have. I told them this is gonna be a billion dollar thing. And people look at me crazy, like a billion? You didn't even say a million yet. Yeah, I say them three B's over here, it's gonna cost you one. Kobe don't have his own brand. He got a brand that Nike created for him. The same with LeBron James. They can't walk away with the King emblem and the Mamba sign. These bees right here, they mine. I can take my stuff anywhere I please. Not only is it gonna provide for my boys, but it'll provide like some of their childhood guys who grew up with them, where I'm telling them guys, hey, we on the road here. Go get some education. And when it's time, you have a place to work. And what better to trust guys you basically grew up with before you made it big? And that's the thing, but you don't know. One of the things too you have to be very careful about is when they're not around you anymore as kids and they grow up to be, man, maybe they got some other alternatives in their head now. And we've run into some of that where I've trained a guy since he was 13, 14 years old and this is basically the coach over there at uh, Chino Hills High. Now all of a sudden, he's 30 years old. He got his own mind. He said, I don't need the ball's help no more. I do my own thing. And now he's having problems over there. Yes, indeedy. Now they want to call back, hold of all. I know. You thought you could do it your way. You thought you was better than that. Man. It was all a dream. Growing up, my brothers and I always talked about playing in the NBA one day. We always talked about having our own signature shoe. We would mess around, talk smack to each other in the back all day, all night. About a brand that we can claim as ours. It was about dreaming big back then. Just like every other kid does. And now, here we are. This entire process has been a blessing. I'm humbled by the position I'm in today, and I'm thankful for everyone that helped me get here. Why not the norm? Because normal's boring. At the end of the day, it's up to us, the athletes. We push the culture forward. Don't let the culture push us. It's up to us to put forward a movement that empowers not only ourselves, but our families and our communities as well. A movement that allows us to claim what's ours, to claim what we've been working so hard for. A movement that provides opportunity and employment to those closest to you, to those who were there from the beginning, your real family taking care of yours. A movement allowing us to be entrepreneurs, not just endorsers. That's what Big Baller Brand stands for, showing that when you have teamwork and hard work, anything you put your mind to can be done. You gotta dream big, because it's all a mindset. And with that being said, I'm excited to give you guys an exclusive look at my first ever signature shoe. 
The ZO2 by Big Baller Man. Mojo on the beat. I had a bitch with a curb. Little bitch, you a curb. Get on the curb. It ain't for me to splash, but you really don't deserve. Some am a dog. Roof, roof with the claws. Adding commas, no pause. Trap out the mall. All the kids do is ball. Two benches for the draws. But I'm the Don. Don't be trying to waste my time. Baby girl, no, she fine. Yeah, she a dime. All these salty is mad. I ain't even in my prime. I'm finna shine. King Lowe's got the nine. T smooths, keep the prime. Shine got the cane. Diamonds blinging off my chain. Swerving 90 in the range. Yeah. Star roof in the rain. Yeah. She giving me face. What can I say? Everything 1K. Everything 1K. Yeah. Everything 1K. Yeah. Everything 1K. Yeah. Mojo on the beat. Swag. Some ballin'. I ain't want to cop the rape, but it seemed like that bitch was calling. Yeah. He ain't gay, he fought it. What? Money thicker than a spotted. This shoe was made independently by my family brand. Creating this shoe was a lot of fun, especially being able to add my own creative input throughout the process. I look forward to working with my fellow athletes, pushing the culture forward, empowering the upcoming generation. In the meantime, I'm going to get after it in the gym. My priority is to train to get ready for the NBA. Thank you guys for all the love. This one is for the culture. The draft lottery is tomorrow, right? And mm -hmm. there's a talk of will the Lakers keep their top three pick? LeVar Ball is sure that they will keep their pick and take his son. I said, how can you be so sure? And he said, you have to speak it into existence. I, mean, I, I get that, but he's like, no, he's going to be a Laker. You have to speak it into existence. And that's not just something that he said about the draft lottery. That's not something he just says right now. This is something that he's been talking about his whole life, actually before his sons were even born. Make no mistake, Lonzo Ball is talent. This is all about him being billions. And he is a hot take artist. You don't have to like the guy, but I think you've got to like the spirit of what it is that he's trying to do. The last year has been the story of the Ball family. Like, you are everywhere. I'm everywhere because people like that controversial stuff. And it's just like this, you got the good guys and you got the bad guys. So I was a good guy, but negativity sells, so everybody won't jump on me, but that's fine. Well, they jumping on me, have fun, because my son is whooping your ass on that court. <laughs> Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I do all my playing on the court. You can say whatever you want off of it. The Ball family, they do it their way. Laughing in the face of the status quo. Now everybody's talking about the price tag. $495. I wouldn't pay $495 for the greatest Michael Jordan shoe. It turns into a joke with the price tag. Earlier this month, Lonzo Ball released his own shoe, the Zo 2s, becoming the first player to enter the NBA with his own independent signature shoe. There's always barriers you can break. It's just who wants to break them first. With well, kids, you know that's 19, can make his own shoe the way he wants it, how he wants it to feel. What makes a shoe sell? I think the person who wears it helps a lot. I mean, everybody's looking for a new trend, new style. If you're not good, people aren't gonna want your shoes. That's facts, that's true. You know, who's gonna wanna wear a loser's shoe? I know I wouldn't, so. I mean, what you do on the court is going to help you off the court. There was a report that your mom had suffered a stroke. And I just wanted to know um, if that was the case and, and if, how you're holding up. Uh, I got no comment on that, man. It's a family thing. During the NCAA tournament, Lonzo was asked about reports concerning his mother, Tina's health. She had suffered a stroke in late February and been hospitalized. That's my mom. She's definitely getting better. You know, just got to stay positive. Do you still see her right now? Yeah, we see her every, all the time, you know, at least four or five times a week. Are you able to just focus on basketball? I'm always doing it, and uh, it helps me cope with things, you know, when I want to get something off my mind. Uh, basketball's always there for me. What's your mom say right now about, like, how you should handle this next part? It's, it's, she can't really talk right now, but, I mean, she, she definitely she knows what we're saying, and uh, she smiles all the time, so that's a good thing. What would she want you to do right now? Uh, definitely keep playing, and uh, just be the best player I can be. I uh, appreciate all the fans and um, all the support. One of the teams that you might get drafted by, the ping pong balls fall the right way, is the Lakers. You've already said you want to play for the Lakers. Right. Do you think that's going to happen? No, I don't think that's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. The Lakers going to get that ball, then they're going to get that ball. <laughs> I mean, if he says it. <laughs> Sounds good. He, he, exactly. He Here we go. <laughs> I mean, because you, you can say it, and then what if it doesn't happen? What if you're in Brooklyn? What if you're in New Orleans, or Sacramento, Phoenix? 
my goal is to make it to the NBA. I've been wanting to do that since I've been a kid. So regardless of whoever I play for, I'm going to have fun doing it. You get to the league, and there's going to be a little resentment, right? I mean, you, you come out and you get your own brand, your own shoe. You got you a lot of publicity. Like that. It's always like that. In this world, everybody got an opinion. So you got people that like you, people that don't care about you, people that hate you. That's just how it is. Lazo should be number one because he's the only player in the draft that can make everybody else around him better. Do you ever think about, like, your dad is so confident in these visions and these dreams that he has that, like, but you are the one who has to carry them out. He's been acting like that for 19 years, so it's nothing new to me. I wouldn't be here without him, so if I go back on him, that's like going back on what I've been doing my whole life, and I don't think that's right. If you don't want all this attention, don't be good. Guess what? Ain't nobody going to ask your name or nothing. Everybody's saying, how come Lonzo is not like his father? He better not be like me. He raised in Chino Hills. I'm raising South Central. He is who he is. Lonzo gonna do him, I'm gonna do me. When I first showed up there, I had breakfast with him, right? And you show up to the door and LeVar comes to the door and says, hey, come on in, and he's a big personality. And I made breakfast for everybody because he does that every single day. He gets up at five, makes breakfast for his, his younger two sons uh, before they go off to school. And then Lonzo starts around nine. Um, and Lonzo was really quiet, right? He didn't say much all during breakfast. And then you know, he didn't say much during the workout. He didn't say much during lunch. And, and I noticed he listens to his music a lot, you know, because. He really, mm -hmm. his dad's talking all the time, right? So what's he <laughs> gonna do but sort of find a way to get to shut it out a little bit so he listen to his music. But then, the more you're around him, the more he talks, the more he's a normal guy, the more that you get him off to the side and you talk, and he's, you know, he, he's sort of learned how to deal with his dad really his whole life. Um, and so I, I think the question, you know, he always knows that question's coming in any interview. You say to him, how, you know, Lonzo, how, come on, really? How mm -hmm. do you deal with your dad? He's always talking and stirring things up. And he goes, he's been like this my whole life. And, you know, I, I pushed him a few times to say, like, you know, at some point, do you want him to just stop? Because when you get to the league, the guys in the league are going to be like, yo, man, your dad called me out. Like, what, when you play LeBron James, what's that going to be like after he's already had a skirmish with him? And Lonzo's like, look, my dad raised me. My dad is my, I talk to my dad every day. I love my dad. How would it be for me to turn my back on him after everything he's done for him? And I, I you know, right now I take it as genuine because, you know, you, you gave him so much time to, to say that. But also, you see how involved he is in his son's life. Um, and so there, there's probably going to come a point where he's going to be off in the NBA and doing his own thing. But for right now, um, he's, this is his dad, and, and he's rolling with him. He's, he's, he's a trainer, and I think people don't quite understand that personality type. Um, but he, he spends his whole day training, not just his sons, but all these kids in the neighborhood. He's probably got 20 or 30 kids who come by uh, regularly for, for training, and he's, a, he's been a personal trainer his whole life. And he, we talked a lot about that in, in, in doing the story and doing the pieces that He's a father to his sons, but he's also their trainer. And I don't know if people quite understand that. He used to train dogs. He, used to, he said he trained pigeons. I said, you train <laughs> pigeons, LeVar? And he said, yeah, I can make a pigeon do a backflip. And I was oh like, my LeVar, Lord. really? <laughs> like, you can make a pigeon do a backflip? But that, that, that's just LeVar. That, that's who he is. However, two of five trade with Boston Celtics actually received those 250 combinations, 25% of the possible 1,000 combos. Now, Sometimes come sit on the stairs, man. <laughs> My reaction is how it's always going to be, right. I told him he was going to go to the Lakers. I'm going to speak it into existence. Boston going to take their Markel folks. He's a good player. I think he fits best with Boston. You can't bring him to L.A. He ain't ready for this. Only one person ready for this. It's that ball boy. That ball boy, number two, the deuce is wild. Is this the uh, culmination of something that, that you've been working on for a long been time? been working on it for a long time. I know I must be a genius to plan it this well. This number's always been number two, and guess where he's going? Number two. To the Lakers, baby! Here we come! If you know anything about college basketball, then you probably know about the Ball family. There's Lamelo, who scored 92 points in the high school game this year, and Leangelo headed to UCLA next year, where his older brother Lonzo took the world by storm this past season. And of course, there's LeVar. But did you know there's a fourth ball Ledicky Ball, University of Richmond. Spiders. Are we, we're supposed to say our college or no? No. 
I mean, doesn't it bother you that the world doesn't know that there's a fourth ball, brother? I mean, I don't really care what the world thinks. You ask any of my brothers, they know there's a fourth ball, brother. Big, big Get brother, him. actually, is what they call me. <laughs> ask Lonzo. Lonzo! Lonzo! He's probably getting shots up. Why have we never heard of Ladicky? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you heard of Lil Dicky, right? You know the rapper? I don't talk about no rappers. I talk about ball players. And the Dickie ain't no ball player. We're all really good, and I think he just kind of felt like the odd man out. I'm still, like, really good at basketball. I'm not uh, a first-round pick in the NBA or anything, but I, you know, like, if you see me, when I play in my rec league, I'm, I think people view me as, like, an elite player. Like, when I walk in, everyone kind of feels it. There's a presence in the gym. And I score a good amount. I'm one of the better scorers in the league. He can't shoot. He can't pass. He can't dribble. He has no hops. Basically, <laughs> no heart. Wow. That way. That way. I've never what seen a charge in my life. Why did you start rapping? Honestly, uh, so he would see me. My whole life, it's kind of always been about Mello, Jello, and Zo. And, you know, he goes to every one of their games. I don't think he's ever come to a concert of mine. In fact, I know he hasn't come to a concert of mine. I said, I don't think, but I know he hasn't. He's never been there. Ladicki, what would it mean to you while you're on the stage performing to look out in the crowd and see your dad standing there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if, uh, if that happened, it, it, uh, it'd be cool. It'd be good to see that. I mean, I rap on the side, you know, it's just for fun. But in my opinion, you know, I think I'm just as good as Lil Dicky. 909, yeah, that's my town. And when I hoop, I gotta hold it down. Cause you hear my name when you ask around and I just wanna make my mama proud. <laughs> oh, that's it. it was all right. It was great. It was great? I think he got you. Sorry, little bro, I'll put you on one day. I'm not your little bro, I'm your big brother. You remember who your big brother is. <laughs> hi <-yah! laughs> Does LeVar's attention on the boys and lack of attention on you, does that take a toll? No. <sighs> You know, I'm a famous rapper, so yeah, I'm living the real dream here. I don't put a lot of stock in what Pop's thinking. Last week, I hung out with Drake. So, you know, every player in the NBA will tell you they want to be a rapper. I'm living the actual dream here. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm good. It's, you know how easy it is for me to get girls at this point? It's so easy. I've been on my Vinny chase. I'm famous, rich, and got a fro. If I want a Diet Coke, someone brings Dickie. me Diet Coke. I'll tell you about that, man. Keep that outside. I hear I have to hear them dribbling all the time. <laughs> Kids are out of control. You need to figure out how to run a household. You got me crazy now, boy. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. <laughs> Who's better than Jordan? Get, get out of here. Okay, it's not you. You're not better than Michael Jordan. You know I am. And you know what? The whole world knows it and they're no, laughing. You, you, you know say what? You are. They're all they ain't laughing. gonna laugh. They're all laughing when, when you say You know say why they're laughing? laughing? Everyone knows you're not better. Can I say it must be fun? Okay, bye. It must be fun being number one. Did I leave my phone charger or no? Phone charger, get out. You left okay. once before. Leave okay. again. We got this specially for you. Now, who's ordering pizza? At the end of the day, we'll always be brothers. You know, we look out for one another. And when I make it to the league, I want to be not known as LeVar's son, but Ladicky's brother. Honestly, that boy is special. He gonna be the world's greatest rapper. I'm just giving him tough love. For this rap game, he is built for this. Girls walk by, they blush it. No cosign, no budget. Don't say hi, curmudgeon. They done, nah, they tell me. Oh, nah, run, they done.